This is the DeWalt DCD796. This is a brushless 18 volt cordless drill. This is a combination drill, so as well as being able to drill wood, steel and plastic, you can actually put it onto hammer action and you can use it for drilling masonry. This is a compact drill, so it's nowhere near as big as the old drills used to be. The actual distance from there to there is considerably shorter. These machines are also much lighter. The battery on the machine comes with a fuel gauge, so you can press that button and you can immediately see the charge in the battery. On this side we have a magnetic bit holder and on that side we have a belt hook. You can actually remove those if you like or you can swap them over from one side to the other. This machine actually has an LED work light built in and it's actually got three modes of operation. So the first one, if we put it all the way to the left and squeeze the trigger, that will switch the light on in the dimmed mode and that will shine for 20 seconds after you release the trigger. If we switch that to the middle, it then goes brighter, so that is in the brighter mode. And if we switch it all the way to the right hand side, it actually goes into spotlight mode and that will stay on for 20 minutes after you've squeezed the trigger. As you can see it's pitch black in here. I've now got the drill and I've put it in the spotlight mode and you can see that that quite easily illuminates this dark garage. When I switch that off it goes pitch black again. So the machine is pretty much similar to what all other DeWalt machines. If you're right handed and you press the selector with your thumb there, that will put it in reverse. Press it with your forefinger, that will put it in the forwards gear. You can then squeeze the trigger and that will start the machine going. We then have the torque selector ring. That has got 13 torque settings from 1 up to 13. You can then put that onto drill for when you are drilling and you can also switch it onto hammer action. On the top we also have the selector switch for first and second gear. The machine also has a variable speed trigger switch. It also comes with an electronic brake so as soon as you let go of the trigger the brake actually stops the chuck. The maximum drilling capacity of this machine is 40 millimeters in wood, 13 millimeters in masonry and 13 millimeters in metal. At the moment this is in gear one which is the low speed high torque so that is good for speeds between 0 and 550 revolutions per minute. If we switch that over to the second gear, it then goes from 0 to 2000 revolutions per minute. But when you're in the second gear, the torque is obviously a lot lower than when you've got it in the first gear. Whenever you're using a drill like this, the slower speed generally always means the higher torque. The chuck is a quality single piece all metal chuck which can accommodate bits up to 13 millimeters in size. That is a really good quality chuck. You can always tell a good quality machine because it will always have a single piece metal chuck on it. So I think that's just about explained all the features. We now just need to put some bits in it. We'll try drilling some wood, some metal and some masonry. I'm going to start off by trying this 32 millimeter flat wood bit. So I've now set the machine to speed one, which is the high torque, low speed. We've got it in the drill position and I've fixed the drill bit into the chuck. This is not actually long enough to go all the way through, but we can drill the majority of the way through this piece of six by two. As you can see this machine is very powerful, it drilled the hole as far as it could into that piece of timber without even slowing down once. So it does have quite a lot of torque and it is very powerful in the first gear. Although this machine is rated to drill 13mm in metal, I would never recommend going all the way through with a 13mm drill bit, so we're going to start off with a 6mm. 
and then I'm going to drill this piece of steel. That is approximately eight millimeters thick on that side. So I've now changed the bit over for the 13 millimeter bit. As you could see from that demonstration, the 13mm drill bit went through there absolutely no problem at all. That just demonstrates how much torque this drill actually has. I have now put a 10mm masonry bit in the drill. I've set it to hammer action and I've also put it in the second speed, which is the fastest speed. I'm now going to drill this concrete block. I have to say that that was absolutely impressive. I have drilled concrete in the past with a drill like this and normally it is very hard work. So normally I get the SDS machine out, but that was very impressive. I've now got a piece of three quarter inch external marine ply and I'm gonna use this very aggressive hole saw, which is approximately two inches in diameter to go through it. You can see that the torque control kicks in a few times there, but it did cut out that two inch diameter hole very easily indeed.